Last time on S Class. Justin lent me volume one quite a few years ago to read and check out, and I was supposed to give it back. But you know what? No, I have no intentions of giving it back, especially now that with volume 11, my collection is complete. So sorry, Justin, you're not getting it back. You're never going to see Yatsuba volume one ever again. If you want it, you got to go get it, buddy. So this one, this is for me. And the one I have over there, volume one, that's also for me. Eat that, Justin. Eat that. Eat that, Rob? Eat that? Robert, not only will I eat, but I shall feast on your tears, and you will pay for what you've done with this manga hall of pain and suffering. Let's start with opening up box number one, and here we have Bleach, a series which Rob set a resolution to read back in 2021, but was too pitiful and weak to ever finish. I'm actually recording this audio months after actually opening the box, and I just finished rereading the series. I think that the later chapters of Bleach gave the series a bad rap over the years, but after rereading it, I think that Bleach is genuinely some top tier shonen battle, and I have a video brewing to talk about some of my favorite parts. I'm sort of on the fence as to whether or not I should get the next two boxes and reread those, but I'm sort of nervous and I'm probably leaning towards no, but we'll see. In terms of the volumes themselves, I think that while the white background is sleek, it does feel a bit bland at times, but I do like that each volume features a different character, which keeps it a bit more interesting. And overall, I'm happy to add this one to my collection. Going into box number two, we have two art books. First, we have the One Piece Color Wall Compendium number two, which features all of the art books from Water 7 to the Paramount War. If you like One Piece's art, this is a really economical way to collect the art books because it essentially combines four or five of the smaller art books, which cost anywhere from $10 to $20 each, while this big guy just costs around $30. We also have here the Promised Neverland art book world, and I think that the illustrator of the series is one of the more unique artists of this generation of Jump, and I was actually really blown away by the color spreads. I honestly don't remember ever seeing these while I was reading the manga, but the background paintings in this book are really phenomenal. At the end of the book, there's also some really neat character designs and location designs, which I always appreciate. In box number three, we have an assortment of manga. We have three volumes of Yotsuba, which wraps up my collection, even if it is missing the original volume one that I bought. And this is where it would go if I had one. Sorry, lost it there for a minute. Back to the manga. We also got some Spy Family and Chainsaw Man, which need no further introduction, along with Real, which is a wheelchair basketball manga written by Takehiko Inoue, the author of Slam Dunk and Vagabond. I actually ordered the whole collection, but the others are still on back order. The story is a bit of a slow burn, but once you get into it, it's genuinely a masterclass in art and writing, and I think it lives up to the hype that it gets. Finally, wrapping up this box, we have a few more Chainsaw Man volumes, as well as Orange, which is a pretty good manga about friendship and overcoming grief, which really hit home with me back when I read it a few years ago. Okay, box number four, and here we have Dragon Ball. Growing up, I had this friend who had the entire Dragon Ball manga, and I was always super jealous of him, and I've always loved how the volumes connect into one giant picture, and I think that more manga should be doing that as well. I think in terms of the front covers, they're sort of like Bleach in the way that they're all really clean with the red background, but I think it's also still a bit boring at times. I do really enjoy the cute cartoony style of Toriyama though, and I'm looking forward to reading this for the first time since I've only seen the anime adaptation. So in between filming these videos, my nemesis Rob actually stole my robot arm thing that holds up my camera, so we had to freeball this one. In box number five, we have two manga. We have Zombie 100 and Blue Period. Zombie 100 is pretty good. It's about a guy who makes a bucket list of 100 things he wants to do after a zombie apocalypse takes over Japan and he gets to quit his corporate job. I think I was a bit higher on it when I first read it, but I think it's still a pretty fun adventure manga. And then on the other hand, we have Blue Period, which I think is now one of my favorite manga that I've ever read. It follows a high school student who's kind of lost in life and then discovers art in one of his final years of high school and is trying to get into art school and overcome his overthinking and self-confidence issues. It doesn't sound that exciting when I say it like that, but for me, it was just really relatable. And I think that this is a manga that's good for just about anybody and especially for anyone who does any creative work. 
I forgot to film these when I unboxed them, but here's a few other items I got from my manga haul as well. We have One Piece Color Wall Compendium 3, which covers the new world through Wano. Another art book, The Art of Senban Omishima, A Bouquet of a Thousand Flowers. I first saw this when I visited Tokyo a few years ago and didn't buy it at the time because I was being cheap, but when I saw it on Right Stuff, I decided I need to get it this time. Omishima does just such an amazing job with color and his female character designs, and I'm definitely going to be using this one for a future drawing reference. Back into the world of manga, we have Blue Box, which was one of the best new manga to come out of Shonen Jump in recent years, only to plummet into the romance disaster that it is today. I've committed to only getting this volume one to remind myself how much I used to like this series, but never again. We also have here Sakamoto Days Volumes 1 through 3, basically the best hitman in the world, falls in love, gets fat, and then decides to run a convenience store. It started out pretty strong with some really great comedy and action, but it's now genuinely the thing that I look forward to reading most every Sunday. And then finally we have Look Back, which is a one-shot written by Fujimoto Tatsuki, the author of Chainsaw Man. The manga is about two young artists who start out as rivals and then eventually become friends and try to get published in Shonen Jump together. And it's also a really nice tribute to those who were lost during the attack on Kyo Annie back in 2019. Okay, so I have two final packages to open. First, we have the second omnibus of Orange, which I've already spoken about. But more importantly, we have not one, but two copies of Slam Dunk Volume 19. Robert, I ordered these back in 2020. They have been out of stock for over two years now, and now they are here, and they are both mine. Remember that text that you so thoughtfully sent me to tell me that they were back in stock at the end of last year? And I responded, I got you one, don't order. Well, I lied. I got myself two, and I got you zero. But Robert, that's not all. In my last manga haul of spite, I made you suffer as I unwrapped my 33 volumes of your favorite manga, Konjiki no Gash Bell. But now, I shall unwrap your true favorite manga right before your very eyes. That's right, Nine Dragons Ball Parade. The stupidest, most pathetic manga to ever grace the pages of Shonen Jump. A series that could not even make it past 20 chapters, but for some reason, you hold so dear. It is here and it is mine, and it shall remain that way for all of eternity. Well, that'll do it for our manga haul, and for those of you that are interested in the cost, this came out to a total of 95 volumes of manga, averaging out to $8.02 each, as well as four art books at $32.56 each, bringing us to a grand total of $917.20. Now, I did promise you all a $1,000 manga haul, and I didn't put that in there just for the clickbait title. I actually have two last packages, and they're actually for you, Robert. Please join me in wishing my S-Class partner and nemesis, Rob, both a very happy belated birthday, as well as eternal suffering. Now, the question remains, what's inside those birthday packages? Will Robert ever get a better manga collection than Justin? And will Nine Dragons Ball Parade ever get the anime adaptation it doesn't deserve? Find out the answers to those questions and more next time on S-Class.